here we are again, just to go over this one more time, the purging of the lines on the blade saw. We're going to raise that top clamp. So once that top clamp is in the up position, we're going to open the saw chamber door and we're going to flip this lever. It's going to lock that top clamp in the up position. For the Cyber 8T, uh, we're going to make sure that there's multiple e-stops on, on the machine. We just want to make sure that it, nothing's going to move when we're back there. We're not on site from the operator. I highly recommend you're using some e-stops over on the, on the stationary end main panel. We can actually even power down the saw on a Cyber AT or a Cyber Saw because it has its own power unit that is not powered by the saw or should not be powered by the saw. We're going to do this anytime we're changing from cleaner to ink or if we're going to be down for that 48 hours without printing. And then the purge valve is right here. All, every print head on the blade saw and on the Cyber AT saw will have a purge valve of its own. If you have three print heads, you need to be doing this three times on a blade saw. On the Cyber saw, there's only one print head on there, so you're only going to have one of these. But just be aware on the blade saw that there is multiple heads or multiple print heads. You're going to have multiple purge valves.